Hey guys, this is my old PC. Uh, I built it around uh, sometime around in 2012, so like nine years old. Uh, it has a uh, 16 GB RAM and uh, 2 GB video card and uh, i7 processor. So it's got some decent specs. It's running Windows 10 and uh, we're gonna upgrade to Windows 11. This one obviously doesn't have TPM or Secure Boot, Secure Boot, and the latest uh, CPU required by Windows 11. So we're gonna see how to uh, upgrade this to Windows 11. So here is my system details: i7, 16 GB RAM, and uh, if you do the PC health check, let me bring it down here so you can see. So a PC health check, yeah, nine years old, uh, and if I do check, it's gonna say. Uh, I don't have a secure boot, I don't have TPM, and I don't have a processor uh, that supports Windows 11. So what we're gonna do is uh, download Windows 10 installation file, and then download Windows 11 installation file, and then copy one file from Windows 11, and uh, put it into Windows 10, and trick Windows, uh, and Windows is gonna think it's gonna install Windows 10, but it's actually gonna install Windows 11. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you go to this link, it will uh, it won't let you download the ISO file. It will download the installation media tool, which we don't need. I mean, you can still download and extract and do all that stuff, but there's an easy option option to trick uh, Windows. Uh, so you hit F12 or uh, Developer Tools, or just click this uh, icon right here. So I'm going to do F12. That's going to bring Developer Tools and go here, and then go to More Tools and then go to network conditions so here we're going to trick uh, we are coming from a non windows operating system so i'm going to pick uh, let's say i'm going to pick i'm going to say I'm, going, I'm coming from mac and then if i reload the screen ignore all this stuff now you can go download your windows 10 so i'm going to pick windows 10 yes and I'm gonna download English. Confirm and 64-bit. So you can see it's downloading uh, the installation file here. Then we need to do the same for uh, Windows 11. So I'm gonna go to Windows 11. And then I'm gonna say, for Windows 11 it gives a direct ISO link for whatever reason. So you go to Windows 11 and download and Make sure that you pick same language in both the screens. If you pick English for Windows 10, do English for Windows 11 as well. Basically the language should be the same. And yes, yes, 64 bit. So it's downloading both the files here. I'm gonna cancel it because I, I already have this file downloaded. So I have my two ISO files and uh, you can either unzip it or just double click it or just say open with the uh, Windows Explorer. So it's gonna mount it as a virtual drive and we need all these files. So this is from Windows 10. So I'm gonna copy all the files from here, copy and then put it in a new folder. I just called it Windows 10. And then do the same for Windows 11 double click or just open with explorer okay now copy this guy and put it under windows 11. so one on the left is windows 10 installation files one on the right is Windows 11 installation files. If you look at both the file structure, they are pretty much the same or they follow the same structure. So you go to source, sort by size, source, sort by size. So this install.wim or the vim file, that's the one that has your uh, Windows installation media. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, copy, and overwrite the one that's present in Windows 10, yes. So essentially when we launch Windows 10, Windows is gonna think 
we are running Windows 10 installation software, but uh, internally it's going to launch uh, the install.vim from Windows 11. So we are actually installing Windows 11. Because Windows thinks it's going to install Windows 10, it's not going to do your circuit boot check or the CPU check or the TPM check. And we can see that now. So let's close this guy. Close this guy. Windows 10. And I'm going to launch setup.exe. Okay. I'm going to launch uh, setup.exe from Windows 10. Yes. Okay, it says, see how it says install Windows 10. That's good. And then we're gonna say, do not install, do not download any updates. Okay, say next. Okay, see no TPM check or no nothing. It says accept everything. I'm gonna say yes. Okay, see how it says Windows 11 Pro. I'm gonna say install. Okay, if you look at the top, it's still going to say Windows 10, but internally it's going to do Windows 11. So at this point, we just wait. 31%. It's going to reboot several times. Hopefully, I can now uh, keep recording. 34%. I'm going to just switch it to hyperlapse. Okay, so that's our Windows 11 and let's see if we can get our updates. The texts are a little bit blown up because uh, I, it's still downloading some drivers and I need to download my graphic driver so I get 4K resolution. So if you go to my system, you can see it's running on Windows 11 Pro. It's 11 Pro because uh, my old Windows uh, 10, 10 was 10 Pro. So automatically it upgraded to 11 Pro. And Windows update, I guess it's still fetching. Okay, so here is uh, here are the updates. So I'm going to download now. So Windows up, uh, updates are working. So you can see it's downloading. So that's the easiest way I found to move from uh, Windows 10 to Windows 11 on old system, especially that doesn't support uh, uh, TPM CPU or the uh, secure boot and I'm not gonna go upgrade my uh, laptop or PC right now so I'm still gonna use this for a couple of years and uh, there it is we are running on Windows 11 so hopefully this helps and hopefully you can make Windows 11 work on your uh, PC as well okay thanks for watching